Good morning. This morning I'm going to cover question 2.4 of the COS 1511 exam paper, October, November 2015. The question asks, we want to assign the value true to a Boolean variable safe if either the value of int variable dogs is greater than zero and the value of char variable lock is y or the value of the char variable alarm is a or b write the statement that will assign the correct value to safe so on the right hand side here what i've done is i've extracted what information they said first of all they're saying that they want a variable name safe of a top boolean so there it is bool safe okay then the next thing they're saying is that they want it to be either the value of int variable dogs so dogs is the name of your variable and it is of a data type int so that's where I got this variable that declaration from okay and it says it's greater than zero and the value of char variable lock so the name is called lock okay the variable name is lock and it's of a data type char so I've specified that okay then they're asking here the value of the char variable alarm so there's another variable named alarm and it's also of data type char so that's why I just used a comma here and I amended it to add both lock and along. Okay. So this is my declaration of those variables and their data types. Okay. Now what I've done is at the moment I've set everything that it cannot meet what they're asking. Okay. So I've specified values like safe. I've set the default of the the safe um, boolean type to be false. I've set the dogs to be greater than zero, and I've set the lock type to be n instead of y. Okay, and I've also set the alarm to be c, which is neither a nor b. Okay, so as you can see here, I've made sure that you'll be able to see what the values are that I've assigned to them over here to the different variables okay so this will display those default values so whenever I change these you'll see this output will show something different now here is my main statement what it's done is they've said that they want to test two different uh, types so you could have either used a switch statement or in this case I've used an if and an else if statement and it says here that either the value of int variable dogs is greater than zero okay so I took the greater part out there and I said dogs needs to be greater than zero okay then I read it here and it says and the value of char variable lock is y so that's where this and sign comes in and it says that the lock variable must equal y then it's going to change this uh, boolean variable safe to true so that's what it's got over here and what I've done is I've added an extra line at the bottom to show you that this is what happens if this uh, option is uh, if, if we meet this criteria which as you can see at the moment we don't okay then I've added this second part to an else if statement that says here because they've said either so either meaning L, uh, one or the other okay so else if the value of the char variable alarm is A or B so remember or means that it can be either A or B so I've specified here else if alarm is A or alarm is B 
then I must change this boolean variable safe to true and then I've, as I've said I've made a C out statement so that if we do meet any of these two requirements then this C out statement will execute so you know that it's inside of this statement okay the only noticeable difference is that I need to when you write more than two lines if I'm not mistaken you need to put it in parenthesis like this so let me rather do that <coughs> just so I can avoid any compilation errors There we go. All right. So if none of those two are met, then it will come out with the else statement, and then it will leave the safe as false. And I'll make sure it is false again, and then it'll output the statement. So if I execute this the way that it currently is, I should actually get this else statement executed because none of the the only thing that matches is that the dog is greater than zero and as you can see there it is else it remains false which is zero okay so now if I want to test this criteria all I need to do is change lock to yes or to y and you'll see that I meet this criteria over here because I've got five dogs which is greater than zero and I've got the alarms the, the lock set to Y so if I execute this code as I was saying you'll see a different output and there we go we've got that line coming out dogs greater than zero and lock is set is yes okay now I have to change this to no, otherwise in the statement that we have, it will automatically execute the first if statement if it is found to be true. Okay, so in order to test the alarm side of things, I have to make one of these uh, variables uh, false. So I'm making changing the lock back to no, and I'm going to put the alarm back. I'm going to put the alarm to A. Now if I execute the alarm A, you should see there we go. And it comes out there and it says the safe is um, yeah, false. Dogs is 5, lock is N, alarm is A. All of a sudden the um, safe becomes true because now we've got a A alarm. Okay and so the same would be for the B if I set it to B. I trust that that has given you some insight into breaking up uh, that question into simpler solution and something that the lecturer would be happy with. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.